All right, so let's take a look at some problems dealing with limits as x goes to infinity. All right, so this limit is going to equal the limit as x goes to infinity of the square root of 3x squared over negative 2x. Okay, so how did I get this? Well, since x is going to infinity, I'm only keeping the largest exponent, the term with the largest exponent from the numerator and the term with the largest exponent from the denominator, which in the numerator is the 3x squared and in the denominator is the minus 2x. Now we can only do this if x is going to infinity or negative infinity. If x is approaching a number like 0, 1, 2, or negative 1, you cannot do this. Okay, and so now I get the limit as x goes to infinity. Now, 3 is not a perfect square, so it's going to stay underneath the radical. And since x is positive, because we're going to positive infinity, the square root of x squared is just x. So we get x times the square root of 3 over negative 2x. And then you see here, the x's cancel. So I'm left with the limit as x goes to infinity of the square root of 3 over negative 2. And then whenever we take the limit of a constant term, we get the constant term. And so this limit would be negative square root of 3 over 2. All right, let's take a look at this same problem here, but let's look at it as x goes to negative infinity. All right, so here we have the limit as x goes to negative infinity. So it's just like the problem before. That's going to be the limit as x goes to negative infinity, and we're going to keep just the largest term the term with the largest the, the term with the largest exponent in the numerator and the term with the largest exponent in the denominator so that's going to be square root of 3x squared over negative 2x now here we have the limit as x goes to negative infinity. All right, so 3 is not a perfect square, so it's going to stay underneath the radical. And then let's look at this, the square root of x squared. Well, that's going to be negative x square root of 3 and then over negative 2x. All right, so how did I get the negative x? Well, let's come over here and review that real quick. So, remember, whenever you take the square root, okay, so we have the square root of x squared here, okay? Now, keep in mind that x is negative because x is going to negative infinity, okay? So, that means x is negative. So, if you remember, when you take the square root, that's the absolute value of x because our, whenever we take the square root, this, this has to be positive, okay? Now, what's the absolute value of x here, okay? So let's, let's review that. We've got the absolute value of x. So if you recall, the absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and is equal to negative x if x is less than 0. So you can see here x is negative which is means x is less than 0 because we're going to negative infinity so that means the absolute value of x, since it's negative, since we're going to negative infinity, is equal to 
negative x. See, if x is less than 0, then we get negative x. Okay, and that's where this negative x comes from. All right, so now you can see the x's cancel out. And this is going to be the limit as x goes to negative infinity. And a negative over a negative makes a positive. So that's square root of 3 over 2. And then the limit as x goes to negative infinity of square root of 3 over 2 is just square root of 3 over 2. And there's our answer. So I hope this video's helped. I uh, hope you check out my other videos. Thanks.